Welcome to another episode here on my YouTube channel. My name is Jerry Colbert, and in today's episode, I'm going to tell you all how I broke my coffee addiction. And it's all coming up next. So in today's episode, I'm going to go over how I broke my coffee addiction. Now, if you all have been following my channel for a little bit, you know that I um, started my carnivore journey uh, back on September 3rd. And I was still drinking coffee. And probably about, I don't know, a week or two, I guess, into the carnivore diet, I just don't didn't have really a desire for coffee. So I wound up cutting coffee out. And now... Let me give you a little brief history on my coffee addiction. I was really, 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 really addicted to coffee uh, quite a few years ago. Um, probably when I, in my late 30s and I think it was my late 30s when I finally realized the dangers of coffee, but I was still addicted to it. And back then I was having a lot of uh, issues with um, heart palpitation, uh, my heart going out of rhythm and I had to beat my chest and cough in order to get it back in rhythm and you know i um i drank a lot of coffee because i was doing a lot of um, work at night so i needed uh, the stimulant to keep me awake and i also drank a lot of mountain dews as well which had a lot of caffeine in it and i was always having these issues with my heart well um to make a long story short uh this has been going on for many years since i was a kid and everything and i went to many 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 doctors but nobody could ever figure out they put a little heart monitor on me and stuff like that and um but nobody could ever figure it out then one day i went to uh a doctor i think it was at vanderbilt or whatever he was a specialist on uh the heart and this and that and i told him he asked me you know what do you drink and i told him well you know, I, I I drink Mountain Dews and I also drink, you know, a lot of coffee. And, of course, you know, he told me, well, Mountain Dews is like the worst drink on the planet. Uh, it's worse than the coffee. But also the coffee is a problem because of the caffeine. It's causing your uh, issues with uh, um, your heart and everything. So I thought he was crazy, of course. And I went to another doctor and he told me basically the same thing. So I stopped cold turkey, coffee, and Mountain Dews and everything. Caffeine, man, did I have a bad headache for a whole week man that was horrible this is quite a few years ago you know because i'm 53 now this is like when i was 38 or so anyways um so man that was a bad headache <laughs> let me just tell you um so i was off of coffee for quite some time but then over the course of years and peer pressure people say man coffee ain't bad for you you're crazy not to drink coffee and this and that and all kinds of other stuff but i've always been susceptible to uh peer pressure and um so i eventually went back on coffee and everything but i didn't go into it like i, I did i never went back to mountain dews or anything like that but i did uh do some coffee like in the morning whenever i got to work i drink like one cup or whatever maybe a couple cups in uh a day and um but i was always still having gut issues and other problems uh with caffeine i wasn't having any more of my heart palpitations because i wasn't really drinking that much coffee but i was still having issues right so fast forward to uh about september 3rd when i uh, decided to um, clean up my eating and uh, try to do this carnivore diet. I thought, well, you know, after I started and I was having that keto flu, I said, like, you know, I might as well go ahead and just cut out coffee too, you know, because, um, you know, after listening to um, a few people in line about uh, coffee's negative effects, and of course I already knew it had negative effects, I was like, I just need to cut that out again, you know, because I, I felt a lot better when I wasn't on coffee. And so I wound up, you know, dropping coffee. And I didn't have a very, very bad headache because I was only drinking a cup or two a, a day. So it really did not give me that bad of a headache. But I figured, if find time to go ahead and cut it out because I was already feeling like crud anyways because the carnivore diet was giving me this uh, keto flu uh, my first two months. So I figured if I just go ahead and stop coffee, I can just get all the hurting over with, you know, in one fell swoop. So that's what I did. 
Uh, and see, by being on the carnivore diet and just eating meat and everything, I didn't have no cravings for anything after the first week. And that goes for coffee too. So it was really easy for me to stop. I just stopped. Now, the thing about it though was at work was a little hard because I was in a habit of walking over to the coffee station and get my coffee before I even knew I was doing it. <laughs> it's kind of crazy. Um, you know, you get in a habit of every morning you go to the coffee station and get your coffee. So I did catch myself a few times going over there, pouring me a cup of coffee. I was like, oh, wait a minute. I'm not supposed to be having coffee. <laughs> I put it back down or whatever. Um, so I did have that little bit of a habit that I had to break of walking to the coffee station. But now, um, you know, I, I've been off of the coffee for a few months now and, uh, I don't miss it. I really don't. I mean, I know a lot of y'all out there, man, I can't get the day started without having me a good cup of Joe, right? A good cup of coffee. You can't get the day started, man. I, I gotta have my cup of coffee. Hey, I was you. Yes, I was. I was you. I mean, I, I mean, I, everybody at work even knows don't bother Jerry until he had his cup of coffee in the morning, right? Because I always thought I had to have that cup of coffee. I'd go in and get that cup of coffee, sit at my desk, and I'd drink that cup of coffee before I even, you know, could function, right? But that's just the addiction talking. That's all it is. It's like you're addicted to crack. I'm serious. It's it, The coffee addiction is probably one of the worst addictions out there. It's pretty bad. And the sad, the sad thing about it is is that it's such a commercialized thing, right? I mean, you go to coffee houses, Starbucks, you know, and this and that, right? Uh, it's such a, a big part of our life that we don't think of it along the lines of like it's crack. But it basically is. I mean, not only do you have coffee that's the danger, because coffee is just not good for you. It's a plant. It's trying to kill you. So its defense mechanism, by the way, is caffeine and a few others. But not only do are you are we addicted to the coffee, but we're also addicted to the stuff that we put in it. I mean, I know a lot of people that put sugar in their coffee. They can't drink their coffee without sugar. Why are they drinking it for? Well, you know, they're drinking it because they like the sugar and because everybody drinks coffee. So you you got to drink coffee, right? And so it's an addiction. Uh, people just love to have their uh, cup of coffee. It just makes them feel like they're part of society, really. But you don't need it. It's not helping you any. Great. And granted, it'll, it'll give you a little pick-me-up. But then you have a crash. I don't have that no more. When I wake up in the morning, I don't have to have my cup of coffee. I'm already awake. And I am already ready to go because I have a lot more energy because I'm on the carnivore diet. Or lion diet, to be more precise. So I don't have to have the coffee. I just don't. And you don't have to have it either. You might think you do, but I'm telling you right now, you don't have to have it. Now, of course, everybody's different. But on this, you don't have to have that coffee. I'm telling you. It's doing you more harm to good. And granted, some of you might be, well, I don't have heart palpitations, so I'm not really worried about it and everything. It's doing you other harm. It's either disrupting your sleep. It's causing other issues inside your body that you don't even know. And I'm telling you, there's no reason whatsoever to drink a plant, which is what you're doing. You're, you're, you're drinking a plant. Um, there's really no reason to do so. The, it's, it doesn't provide you any kind of benefit. Granted, it gives you a pick-me-up, but then you have a crash, and then you got to get some more coffee because it's a stimulant, right? It stresses out your body. You don't need it. And I'm just saying, from my experience, I thought I needed it too. I thought I had to have it. But it was just the addiction. Now that I'm off of it, I don't have to worry about that in the morning, getting a cup of coffee. It doesn't really do anything for me if you know, at all. I mean, I'm just perfectly fine without it. Um, it just, I don't really need it. I don't crave it. I don't have to have it to get myself going. And I don't have a crash in the afternoon or a crash later on the day where I have to get another cup of coffee. I don't have any of that. I'm just even keel across the board all day long and I'm just getting stuff done I don't have to worry about any of that getting a cup of coffee oh yeah gotta get me another cup of coffee I feel like I'm starting to run down gotta get me another stimulant I don't have to do that you know and, and I, I, I you know I, I think that 
coffee is like a gateway drug to some of the even more powerful stimulants like, you know, uh, those monster drinks or the five-hour energy drinks. I mean, many years ago, I was I was drinking coffee at night and everything, and um, and, and, and then I, I was drinking a lot of Mountain Dew, and they had a lot of caffeine in it. And then I was like, oh, yeah, but i got to go to Starbucks in the morning when I get off work and get me a venti latte. And, hey, before I go to work, I need to have me a venti latte as well, right? And I got all that sugar and all that stuff stuff in there and all that caffeine and and why it was just causing me more and more and more problems but i was so addicted to it i didn't see that all i saw was i had to have it right and then what did i do i said well i got i have that well i heard people like these five hour energy drinks right these five hour drinks so i'm going to chug one of those too you know to keep me going at night and i was in the hospital so i was going to die of a heart attack I'm just saying it leads to uh, even more of an addiction, and uh, at least it did for me. Maybe not for you, but I'm telling you, coffee is causing you harm. You can say it's not, but it is. Uh, I'm not no doctor, but I just know from my own experience, and I see how other people act around coffee. I know it's an addiction, and anything that's an addiction like that, you don't need in your life. You just don't need it. But... Um, of course, I'm not trying to convince you not to drink coffee. If that's your advice, that's what you want to do, go ahead and do it. But I'm telling you, you're not doing yourself any favors. You're doing yourself more harm than good. And you don't really need it. Uh, you can just do just fine with water. And everybody's like, well, yeah, but water, man. I just don't like the taste of it. Yeah, well, water don't have a taste. Uh, of course, you know, depending on the type of water you're, you're drinking. Um, but water, you'll find out that you wind up craving it because, you know, coffee dehydrates you. So water, you'll, you, you, once you're off of that coffee and off of that addiction, you'll find that you just crave the water. It's crazy how it is, but you'll crave it. As long as you don't have any other sugary drinks in your uh, uh, repertoire, um, I'm telling you, you'll really, uh, you'll really just enjoy the water. It's just, it, you just body will just crave it naturally. As long as you get all that other junk out of your uh, system. But anyways, uh, to make a long story short, basically the carnivore diet helped me kick the coffee habit for good and now that i'm eating clean and i don't really have any cravings to get off of my diet and everything i surely won't go back to coffee that's for sure um but anyways um that's really all i got for y'all today and like always i hope y'all enjoyed this episode and if you have any comments or anything or or maybe you want to tell your story down there in the comments uh, feel free free to just uh you know leave a little comment right down below and um also, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet uh, and you want to see more of these videos in the future, make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell. And with that being said, I want to wish you all a wonderful week, and I'll catch you in the next episode. Take care. Bye.